Hello and welcome back here again. Today we continue our video with part two from our trip in Norway in which we will explain you the back home route that we did it. If you don't see this uh, video, part one, please stop it now and uh, check the part one and after you can watch second part what we make now. So after our one day stay to the North Cape, we decided to woke up earlier and drove a long way because in the next day we decided to visit a part of Lotofon Island. We drove approximately 800 kilometers. It was a little bit long, but we arrived fine there. To the next day, we have uh, waked up earlier because we want to hiking to the Hayavanet to see Henningsva, wonderful landscape from from Upser. We made about two hours tour, hiking tour. Yes. Something like that. Yes. And after we choose to go and visit the village, which is a fish village and uh, it's very nice. If you don't see it, this video, please check it because it's one video only with uh, this village on our videos. Here we want to visit another fish village, Rheine, because we now live in Rheine but in Germany and we find it interesting. But we didn't have so much time and we leave it for another occasion. Because we want to visit again Norway. For sure. So if you came to Norway, not forget to put in your visit list Lofoten Island because it's a magical place. I think you can spend at least two weeks here and you are not bored because there are a lot of tourist attractions and awesome hiking tours and nice. It's a, a very very nice part of Norway. Yeah. Lot of fun island. After this beautiful time in uh, Henningspa, we drove direct to Trondheim next day. We had a long drive and we shorted it a little bit with a ferry boat. drive boat. From Lodingen, we took the ferry boat about 6 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, here is a very interesting thing in Norway. You can use often the ferry boat and sh you can short your route and it's very nice because you don't need to pay yeah, and you don't need appointment use it but until now you don't receive the invoice yeah we asked and they told us that the bill will come through post directly at home but it it's not here. <laughs> we didn't get it didn't until come. now. And we arrived to the most beautiful city in Norway. Trondheim is one of uh, the nice city in Norway, what we visited. We missed the city vibes because all the places that we have visited until now, they were nature and tourist attraction and in the northern part of Norway, there are not so big cities and we missed a little bit the city vibe and we had a great time. We sleep at two awesome Norwegian. Hi Matilde Hi Matilde Erik. And we had a great time with them. We slept so well. I think in the next morning, around seven o'clock, we were exploring the city already yeah so after we have great uh, hours in uh, Trondheim we decided to drive again 300 kilometer five hours approximately we arrived to Andersnes mm -hmm. and, yeah. <laughs> and there 
Yeah, yeah because I never forgot this name on the train. Because there we choose to go hiking approximately 3-4 hours. Go up to the Rafa Strecke mm -hmm. to admire the awesome view from upstairs, but uh, we find nothing because it was so cloudy. So <laughs> we had, I don't know how to call it, but when I look back, I realized that we are really crazy. <laughs> A little bit. After uh, walking in all of some, the city, yes. we drive 300 kilometers, approximately 5 hours. After then, we leave our baggage and we go upstairs to the mountain. In the same day. In the same day, yeah. These are <laughs> like us. Like us. Our, Why? Why? Be, because half a. Uh, before a half hour was 300 now it's 200 after half hour i was so tired in the end of that day oh yeah. no i i just want to sleep i don't want to charge the batteries of the camera i don't i don't want to eat anymore i i just wanted to sleep yeah. But I can tell you that worth all the effort that we did it. For us was an uh, amazing experience. Yeah, even that was cloudy and we didn't catch this awesome view. But worth it. Yeah, worth I had it. a lot a of lot. fun and a lot of adrenaline. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was hard but uh, very nice to the end of the day. Yeah, we made a full video with the hiking tour also. Yeah, check if it. If you want, go and check it. Next day, we, we are not so lucky again because it was uh, again so cloudy and uh, we miss the awesome view from one of the dangerous road in Norway Troll Road Yes Normally from uh, this road you have uh, one of the awesome uh, view of the lens landscape But it was nice that we decided to continue the road So the Troll Road we continue with the Eagles Road and there was not so cloudy and we catch some awesome views so after a few hours of adrenaline on this troll road and eagle road troll road more exactly we continue our road to the mountains we use the Dalbring national park which is very famous for its natural landscape and short distance between the points that you can visit and also for its glacier used that mean glacier is the most biggest glacier from Europe or something like that yeah, yeah. and you can book a, a trip there and you can visit it when we book our road trip we didn't have the idea that we drove to such a beautiful area yeah. in Norway. Yeah, we we wake up in the middle of nowhere. Huh? What is here? And it's ice. It's one mountain with uh, ice and uh, winter. Huh? We have parked in the car and we have googled a little bit to see where we are because we don't know where we are and so we, we find that this uh, national park so with all this tired thing and push yourself and we push ourselves so hard worth it because we see such a beautiful landscape and 
Yeah. That's for sure it was we take energy from this what we have seen. Yeah. It was interesting and nice. Yeah. The Viking is coming. Because after this beautiful road on the mountain and so on, we arrived in Ler Dal Zori. And, and we sleep, sleep. <laughs> again. We are excited because we go to sleep. So to the next day we have visit Viking Age. Yeah. And we started with Burgund Steve Church. This was uh, the first place what we have uh, market to visit in Norway. And after we have visited Viking Valley. Yeah. <laughs> you in can the same day. you can check in our videos because we have extra explain all of our experience there. We have learned a lot of uh, the history of uh, Viking and uh, how they live now and... Uh, and we meet real Vikings there. Yeah, this was uh, one of the awesome experience yes. there. Yeah, they live there. It's very nice. Go and check the location and you will find more information. Maybe you want to visit it if you go in Norway. Yeah. Okay, so after Viking, we drove to Eidfjord. Yeah. And we sleep at Maria's place. Yes. All right, yeah. After the great sleep at Maria's place, we woke up and we visit one of the most beautiful waterfalls. In yeah, this Norway. was near our accommodation place. Mm -hmm. And after we continue our road to Joperland, yeah. where we sleep at one great man. Yeah. To share with us the story of his life. Yes. Very, was a very little interesting. bit hard, but yeah. sometimes the life is not only. So, to the next day, we have the last day in Norway. We woke up in the morning. Very early. Yes, because we want to be the first who visit. Parpit rock. rock. But yeah. we were surprised because we was not the first people who visit it. So early in the morning. Yeah. Wow, it was so nice. This hiking was uh, one of the beautiful landscape what we have seen. Yeah. The hike tour is a little bit hard I can say but not so extreme so you you can do it if you want yeah and in the same day we need to hurry because we we must arrive to the port to take our ferry to bring us from Norway to, to Denmark to mm -hmm. where we have slept to one Hotel. In the next day, we start to drive again and to Germany. Home. Yes, uh, we have only stopped to eat something. Uh, Viking food again <laughs> in German. We leave in the description below <laughs> our experience and uh, some link of our places and the same like uh, this restaurant we live there. So this we... was our two weeks in Norway and we had great experience and awesome memories and we are so excited to book next year another tour trip. Yes. Because we love it so much. Yes. But and... not in Norway, in other places. 
we make a plan and we share with you the same like this one our experience we believe you learn something from us or you take some tips and tricks from us reach new information and we we'll see you to the next friday take care until then and uh, have a great day or Peace. night or week or weekend or bye bye